So one thing I think you'll all be very excited about is the level of fidelity in space, the graphical detail and the immersion, because it's to a level that I've never been able to achieve before. I'm trying to build a world that it's so detailed and has such great texture that you forget that it's a game, which is always my goal when I'm building games. I'll just climb into the uh, cockpit of the fighter. And as you can see, as we're sort of climbing in, there's a huge amount of detail in the cockpit, because one of the biggest keys for me in, in the next game I'm building is I really want to have that immersion to be complete. And we're going to do a lot of things that will really push that. Everything inside the cockpit operates and moves and works. If I look around the cockpit, you can see uh, the displays, my hands on the throttle, my hands on the joystick. The whole idea is we're immersed fully in a cockpit that's fully rendered in 3D. So if you issue a command, you hit a button, you'll actually see your character doing the cockpit. It's all for the immersion. But I think immersion is really important for me because I think that you have to really visualize and create a very believable world. I mean, so that's one of the reasons why I always sort of really push the visual fidelity is because I think that helps with the immersiveness. And the more immersive, the more connected you are to the experience, the more connected you are to the experience, I think the more fun the game itself will be. So uh, an example of that is if we're looking around at our character, we can see that you know, the character himself is you know, about 100,000 faces, which is about 10 times the detail of most uh, current day uh, AAA games are about 10,000 faces or so. And so that just allows you to have a little extra detail. The, the wires on his, uh, on his pilot outfit, the creases in the uniform, uh, and have it really stand up when you come in close and, and not uh, break down because it's too pixely. 